EA Sports. It's in the game. Get into it, Jack. How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. Very touching that you went to the trouble of getting a 360 just just for this. So let's hope it's a good game. Lives up to the pre-match bidding. <laughs> so yeah, Jack recently wrote an article, kind of drawing parallels between the video game FIFA and uh, issues in real life football. Um, so yeah, Jack's in London, and he plays on a Xbox 360 which I've recently acquired just so we can have this uh, battle for the ages. Oh, oh. oh. one nil. Alright, so yeah, what's Ultimate Team? We're playing Ultimate Team right now, which is a mode of the game, but could you describe what that is for people? Yeah, so Ultimate Team is a, relative, a relatively new format of the game. Traditionally, it's more, you know, you just sit down with a friend um, and have a single game, but Ultimate Team is sort of much, much more all-encompassing. You start off with a set of players who get given to you, and the idea is there's 10 divisions, and you work your way up these divisions, and you win coins, which are sort of a in-game in currency with which you can buy better players. But the very best player is very expensive, so it becomes quite a uh, quite a challenge to get yourself all the way up to you know the very best. Uh, so yeah, it's very engrossing, and yeah, it is pretty much the most most popular game for sort of the hardcore kind of players. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there you go, you know. What a guy. Um, all right. Well, could you tell me a bit about what you looked at in your article? So basically, the the traditional kind of legit way of, of boosting up your team is basically not quick enough or satisfactory enough for you know what I imagine to be the kind of very hyper competitive sort of school kids who might play this so basically there are other ways of um, getting these coins uh, which have kind of created these weird black markets which operate so there's people who sell coins, I'm not really sure how they make these coins. There's some kind of coin farming techniques, uh, which they use that you can buy coins with real life money. Uh, and there were also people who were operating as bookmakers uh, with FIFA Ultimate Team coins rather than real life legal tender. Uh, which I found really strange because, you know, if you wanted to place a bet on a football match, why would you not use money uh, rather than FIFA coins? Uh, which led me to believe that these were children, basically, who were betting, uh, which I found mildly troubling. <laughs> what a girl. I'm getting dusted here. Um. <laughs> I'm not just going to be beaten by someone who's just got an Xbox 360. Uh, Didn't let that happen. You kind of suggested that FIFA, the game, or Ultimate Team anyway, is a case of art imitating life. Could you talk about kind of the parallels you drew? Yeah, well, I just found it funny because with FIFA, you know, you sit down and try and play a game of FIFA and you can't be against a team, a guy who might have spent hundreds of pounds souping up his ultimate team and you sit down and you find it quite hard to beat them because obviously because you're trying to play the game uh, in the right way and they're not, which is kind of like uh, kind of like modern football really because a lot of the time it is the Man Cities, the Chelsea's who invested loads of money who end up wiping the floor of everyone else. Uh, so I just found that quite strange. 
I'm a little bit depressing. Um, good game, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, yeah. that's, that's all right, I think. For my students, I've had a lot of practice with this team, so I know them, know them at the back of my hand. <laughs> yeah, it was really good to chat to you. Yeah, you too. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll play on PS4 for the next documentary. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm here with Kat. Uh, Kat's an Australian woman from Melbourne. Uh, I found Kat on an online forum. She's an avid FIFA player. So yeah, we're about to have a, a match. I'll just Are you get... ready to lose? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see what happens, eh? I found you in a forum. Oh, well, you're looking for other female gamers, essentially, and yep. you suggested the idea that you'd like a maybe a women's only league. I have played a, a woman or a girl or whatever online at all like when I get on the microphone and I play a guy which is majority of the time yep. they just talk back and just like be smart asses about it oh you know you can't play a girl one of the females only where we can all talk about the game and talk about everyday things like just interact with other people, other girls, you know, it'll be good, and we and we won't have that negativity and this criticism that the guys tend to. Not all of them. I'm not saying that all of them yeah. do it, but if you had played women before, I think you know they'd probably choose not to reveal themselves, which is a pretty kind of sad thing. That yeah, well, I I tried to stand to stay off the microphone. I don't really have to conversate with anyone online. And I think that's boring. I think that's what the game is designed to do, is yep. to interact with people. So if there was like a females only um, section that we can go in and play and discuss and talk about, I think that would be great. Is there anything else you'd like to see in FIFA or in future FIFAs? Um, Nice girl. Oh, <laughs> you're distracting me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, also, if there was a FIFA Ultimate Team Women's Edition, where you've got all, all the female divisions yep. instead of just the international um, teams, or create a player, a female player, you can go into the female division, build your player up, yeah, um, become the next superstar. Oh, good goal. <laughs> For the first time, women are included in the game. Although they're due to technical kind of restrictions, you can't actually play with them in most forms of the game. What are your thoughts on women being in the game? Yeah, it's obviously a positive step. Um, yeah, I think it's a good start. I think um, it'll give... It, I don't know if the men will probably, probably um, enjoy it as well, and they'll get to know the players in the female league and maybe that would be more interesting for them to watch. It's and a good introduction to having women in the sport. Yeah, for sure. You have to do this. With uh -oh. <laughs> That's how I actually come to know all the, all the players um, in the men's division. You can see the difference between, you know, a really good player and a really bad player in FIFA and seeing them in play in real life. You're like, oh yeah, and that's why this guy's really good in the game, you know, because they're, it's a yep. very realistic game. And you learn a lot of players. Like, what are your thoughts on the state of women's sport in real life? So, you're Cristiano Ronaldo, who does the same thing. He, he trains hard. Same as the female players. They prepare for the game the same way that Cristiano Ronaldo prepares for the game. <laughs> when I talk, I go. <laughs> you're doing the same thing. You're going out, you're working your ass off, you're playing on the game. You're trying to build up yourself as a player. Yeah. And to me, it's the same. It's the same thing, whether you're female or male. Unfortunately, but not only in sport, but in any other career path. And that's the end of the game. Thanks so much for doing that. No worries.
This is Ryan Grant, who's a professional footballer. Uh, he plays in the A-League in Australia, and he's actually represented in the game, FIFA, and has been for a few years. Yeah, well, um, so he's got a pretty unique perspective. So we're here in Sydney at Ryan's house, playing a game with each other. Oh, oh it's it's under snap. early pressure. Um, so yeah, do you and your teammates play FIFA often? Yeah, we do. We play a lot actually, um, especially because uh, we go into camp a fair bit um, during the season. Uh, both home and away games, we take the PlayStation with us, so we get to play amongst each other. It's usually just me and my roommate, um, but a lot of the other boys um, get a sniff and, and want to have a game and compete against each other, so um, I would say I play pretty regularly. Yeah. And he's up oh. for the header. Oh, and just over the bar. It's still in there. So why do you think so many professionals in real life are interested in playing FIFA. I know you're humans just like everyone else. Yeah, I think everyone loves it to be honest, but I think being a footballer, you obviously um, love football, uh, even though you probably try and get away from it when you're not playing or training, but a lot of us don't. It's just fun. I think it's always it was always a laugh, just like probably doing stuff you can't really do in real life, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah, you, you mentioned you don't really often play as yourself. What's the reasoning behind that? Can you just... um, it's more because, with no disrespect to the A-League, but on, the, <laughs> on, the, um, on FIFA, the, the play, obviously we're not rated as highly as the world-class players, so it's not as good quality, to be honest. But Yeah. Do you think there's any way that playing FIFA could help in real life? I honestly, I think it sort of can. I think you see things happen uh, on FIFA and you sort of, you try different stuff. Uh, as me as a player, I'm not the uh, most fancy of, of players and don't try a lot of tricks and whatnot, but as soon as I'm on FIFA, I sort of give that a go. And I suppose I think not only does that sort of bring a little bit of confidence, even though it is a game, okay. yeah. it sort of opens your eyes to a few different things you can actually try or do. Um, as silly, silly as that may sound. What's it like to be represented in the game? Obviously, you played a bit, do you? Is it exciting to find out your rating every year on FIFA, or do you or your friends have issues with the way that your, I don't know, that your stats are? Uh, obviously, I'd like to be better. Yeah. But it's is it's pretty realistic, I suppose. Um, a lot of the uh, A-League players are rated quite similar, except for obviously the, the better ones, the, the boys that stand out in the league. But um, I know I'd like to have a laugh with a few of the boys. It's a goal! Uh, it's a goal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a laugh and sort of compare and take the mickey out of each other and give it each other a bit of stick if the rating's a bit lower, but um, I think it's, it's quite cool sort of just to see the different, um, how you look each year. Like I know I had a beard for a while and in this one I've actually got a beard. Do you know the Foothead, the website? No, I don't know it, no. Like I only just discovered it, but okay. it's like people who play Ultimate Team, every, <laughs> every player in the game has a little profile. Oh, wow. It's got all your stats there, and people, you know, leave comments, and they've even got all your... <laughs> oh, the old school ones. All your old ones, and you can see your progression. Next uh, headshot we get, I have to make sure I look a bit better than that. I think you scored a pretty, pretty amazing goal last season, I think it was, and yeah. I noticed your long shots went from about 45 to 65. Oh, there you so go. There you go, mate. And people are playing with you just for your long shots. It's pretty cool people be able to look on there and have their own say and stuff, um, which is good because being a footballer, you do cop a bit of um, stick from not only fans but media, so it's sort of cool to have some people have a look at you and judge you on your FIFA skills rather than uh, real <laughs> yeah. life, which is kind of cool. Oh. Is that you? No, I wish. <laughs> it's funny that you sort of ask that because it's a lot of the things you'd try on the field or you'd play in real life, you can't always replicate on the game and vice versa. So. Oh! <laughs> is this me? I had a crash. I tried those long shots. <laughs>